it's Jeff from the Mantiques Network. How are you doing today? I get to do this product because this is one of my favorite products that we've ever had. And these are super rare. We come across them. It's just an amazing thing. The story is this is a luminary fan company out of Ohio. They originally had made these fans because they're ornate to go into a movie theater. Because you have to remember back in those days, the turn of the century, to go to a place that was cool, had any kind of uh, primitive air conditioning, was a movie theater. So what they would do is set these fans up. They would put a block of ice in front of it, and that was what gave them um, air conditioning. But then down the road, in came another application for the fan that kind of made it a little bit different. The funeral parlors started to pick up the fan for a couple different reasons. You have to remember back in the day that when somebody died, it was not uncommon for somebody to be placed in the uh, parlor or the front room of their home for the neighbors to come over and give their last respects. Can you imagine trying to do that with your kids today? How creepy would that be? Anyways, they liked the fan because they would put it at the head of the casket because the fan kept the flies off the body and the, uh, the amber lights also gave better color to the face of the deceased. So the company in Ohio, the Luminary Fan Company, was so distraught that it was being used by this and starting to get a reputation as the funeral fan they stop making them. So when we can come across one of these, especially that's been uh, as whole and put back together like this, extremely rare. But if you want something with a great story, not to mention Jim's going to go over uh, in a second on actually how the thing works, this is an amazing piece. Okay, this is how we're going to do it now. Hold it. I hand it. Go. Just like Hollywood. So, uh, like I told, I wanted Jeff to do the explanation for you, and then I'll go over what we did. When we got the fan in, it was a bit broken down. It needed to be put back together or rebuilt, which we did, as we always do, and made it correct and in really nice shape. So the whole fan has been completely rewired, okay? All brand new switches. So you got your light switch on and off, and then here is your fan switch. So what I'm gonna do now is, as well as we put on it, a speed control okay so now and this thing cooks right so it gets going pretty good it's going real good That's so good that. <laughs> so now you can uh, back it off right and run it at a lower speed once again we put a brand new motor in here which is the beauty of this this fan has been completely rewired as well as a brand new motor and we was able to keep the original hand fan motor housing and we got a motor that fit right inside of it so we was able to sandwich a brand new motor in here all new wires all new electrical new motor and come around here jeff i want to show them one of the most spectacular parts of this which this is all cast iron that's what makes this such a valuable and unusual beautiful fan complete cast iron top to bottom uh, these are just spectacular. I, you know, I'd love to keep this fan, but uh, we don't get to do that. And we've had about three of these in the last several years, and they all go pretty much like that. So if you want one, great investment piece, totally cool. We'll get it crated up, get it chipped out. And don't forget, we do restorations here. So if you have anything you'd like restored, get in touch with us. We can arrange shipping both ways. Absolutely no problem for you, and we will get it done. Thank you for your time. Get this fan. This is a nice piece. What do you think, Sinclair? <laughs>